Hey, just a quick heads up, content here may not appeal to everyone. If you don't resonate with what's shared here today, that's okay. We all have our own journey in life, so please respect our shit and we'll respect yours. Ready? Yep. Okay. Welcome to the Own Your Own Shit Show, where we talk about how your mind and body affects your whole health. I'm Lisa. I'm a massage therapist, a nurse, and a mind-body connection coach, and I help women release stress in their mind and their bodies. Hi, and I'm Andrea Coulter, and I'm a doctor of medical health and homeopathy, and the founder of the IOMI Healing System, which you can check out below. And today, we are so excited, we have our first guest. Yay! So fun! Yay! Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we brought Betty May in because she is a local shit shifter. So she was a perfect fit. <laughs> she helps people look at how their thoughts and their emotions, you know, and the things that they're believing in their life are affecting their life and, and ways that they can go about changing those things that they really want to change in their life. And she is starting a new program that is how are you going to who do you, who want, you to want to be in two years? years? Exactly. And I'm so excited to hear yeah. more about this program. Me too. Oh, thank you so much, Andrea and Lisa. It's so nice to be here with you guys. I'm super yeah. excited because I've been watching you. Uh, yeah. 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 So cool. yeah. your, your shows are like super entertainment, entertaining, but they're also educational. you oh. got to really nail down the edutainment piece. I, I love watching them and oh. they're, they're always good for a laugh and to make me think about some things. So I'm just really thrilled that I'm here for a <laughs> so excited about that. So thank you. Thanks, thank you. Thanks for having me on today. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah, we're excited. Yeah. yeah. So I've taken a few of your workshops and I've absolutely loved them. Uh, so I would sort of think of you more as an instantaneous sh shifter. Um, so what's with the two-year thing? What's going on yes. there? Awesome. Thanks for asking. Yeah. I am known in the community as change can happen fast. Right? Mm -hmm. Awareness is your transformational friend and as soon as you become aware, change can happen fast. So I've been working with that and with the tools and they're great hacks to get you out of stress now, to get you out of overwhelm now, to get you out of struggle now. But people do fall into their old patterns sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so this is more for people who really want to become a greater version of themselves, a newer version of themselves, an upgrade of themselves. Mm -hmm. That takes more than an instant, generally. Mm. Yes. So if we have many instants, then that grows into a new person, into the person that we really want to become. But this program really is, okay, who, who do I want to be in two years? It came because I thought about myself. Who do I, who, what am I emerging into? Because we're mm. all becoming our, the version of ourselves that's going to be here in two years. But are we doing it consciously? Are we doing it deliberately? Oh, I love it. Or are we yeah. just practicing our same old habits again and again and yeah. again? Hoping, wishing, dreaming of a different result. True. Yeah. Everyone and that's kind of that. what people do, don't we? Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so I thought, what if I could come up with um, some of the tools that I already work with and, and teach, add it to a scientific model. This is a whole new model from how people normally function. Mm -hmm. and. I'm not that attached to having a scientific model because I'm my own guinea pig. I just do it on myself. If it works, great. That's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people really like the scientific model because it lowers their barriers. Mm. If I say, oh, just think about it and it'll happen, it's like, yeah, maybe, well, maybe it won't. And it, it's too wishy-washy. Yeah, yes. But this is really based on hard science. And so I love it. And I like that too. Yes. Yeah. I mean, even though my only remedies are, woo, they're homeopathy and oh, they're placebo. No, no there's science yeah. behind it. Yes. And that's exactly. what attracted me. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Educating people about the science of things. Yes. Because there's a reason why something works. Yeah. Then they'll do Love it. Because yes. they know why. They know what the exactly. purpose is. Why am I doing this? I'm not just I doing these it. incantations for no reason. Like, <laughs> really, what is yeah. it? So I started on myself. I always do. Anytime I have new something new that I want to, I start on myself. And so this is how it went. So I decided, who, who do I really want to be in two years? Mm. Well, one of my things, and I've seen it a lot with clients, is I want to stop the struggle. Mm. Yeah. Like it's so incessant, like pushing and grinding and driving and trying and efforting. And I just think there's a better way to be. And so that was for a sure. big one for me. I know it might seem funny that I'm saying that because you guys you don't see that in me, but um, it, it's, it was always running beneath the surface. So that was mm -hmm. one thing. I wanted to continue to become more and more aware. And I wanted gratitude to really be more of a natural state that I'm functioning from. Not just once in a while or like, oh, I gotta you know, be grateful for something, <laughs> yeah. but really have it to be my natural state. So I wrote down a whole yeah. list. It's quite a, I have a page of who I want to be Whoa, in two awesome. years. It's really cool. Yeah. And um, and so then in January, something happened. Andrew and I were going out west to go snowboarding. 
And the day we left, there must have been like a half a dozen to 10 times where in my head it said, wow, that's not like me. Wow, that's really unusual. I don't usually do that. That's not normal for me. Mm -hmm. And we get out west and we're snowboarding and this is, keeps happening all week. And I'm like, what the heck is going on here? I keep having this thought that's not like, oh, I'm becoming the new version of myself. Oh. It's not like me. The so old version stuff. of myself oh. would have been like, like, you know, reacting in a certain way, but the new version of myself, like, who is this? So we get kind of, um, it can feel a bit like chaos or like, uh, so what happens when unusual, you change belief structures, right? Yeah. You go in chaos. So all that stuff falls off, and this new person is trying to emerge. And I, I, I hate to admit it, but I have to. I was a little judgy of it at first. Like who? Like who is this? That's yeah, not like because me. it's not a comfortable place to be. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. But when I got it, oh, the old one's falling off, and the new one's emerging. Then I got really excited about it. Nice. So then it was like I'd be so. Not like the old me. And so it was really cool. So this started happening, 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 and then it started happening with clients because I've been working on individuals. Mm. And then I was at a, a function where I was speaking a little bit, and somebody came up and said, "Would you consider doing this with a group?" And I thought yeah. that's a fabulous idea because yeah. we can really learn from each other. Mm. And maybe somebody wouldn't have had the thought of. I want to. I want to like um, not no longer be in struggle effort. Mm. But they hear me say that and they go, oh, I want that too. So we can right. really. So it's a. It's yeah. like a really beautiful thing to do. And so I haven't. I've done, haven't done my first group yet, but it's coming. It's starting on July 10th. Yeah. And I'm so excited about it. And so yeah. from then, like things are happening where it's like, wow, the old Betty May would totally not have reacted like that. Mm. That's so interesting that I'm stepping into more wonder, stepping into more of the awe of what this life has to offer us and I'm I'm really loving this this version of me. Oh, that's awesome. So much that I want everyone to listen to so a good restaurant yeah. and you want everybody I to know. go. It's like <laughs> this is I'm jumping out of my skin because it's so fun and it's not always awesome, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, Amber, you know you really helped me through shingles. Mm -hmm. And shingles was a really big part of this new version of me. Right? I said I want to have more awareness. When you have shingles, you're in so much pain, you have a lot of awareness. A lot. Wow. And one of the things I always talk about at the very beginning is it never shows up how you think it will. No. Mm. And so I did not have shingles on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that was a part of my list. Yeah. However, so many of the things that were on my list showed up through shingles. Mm. So it was so cool. And maybe one of the biggest things that happened was I was doing my own practices while I was in shingles, in pain, yeah. and I thought, oh, I would really like to just, can I find something to be grateful for? Mm -hmm. And I could think gratitude, like, oh, I should be, I'm, you know, I'm grateful for my space that I live, and I'm grateful for this, but I couldn't feel gratitude. Mm -hmm. I just was in pain and kind of in a yeah. difficult place, and so I couldn't feel gratitude, and I, I kept trying, and, you know, the thought was there, but I couldn't feel it. And during this shingles piece, I was also rehearsing the, my final two months for my dance recital. Oh, and that's when all the refinement comes, all the like perfecting the little pieces. And I was doing that while like really being in like a fair bit of pain and not exhaustion, but close to. Yeah. So anyways, I, I go through the whole dance recital and it goes fantastic. And at the end, I was physically exhausted, but oh, I'm going to cry telling you this. Yeah. I was laying on my bed, just I was so deeply grateful for my body that it could do that mm -hmm. like go from that to be on a stage like I just I was so completely overtaken by gratitude and then I got to say that's what gratitude feels like mm -hmm. yeah. I can think it or I can feel it but when you that's feel right. it mm -hmm. so it was such a gift just if that's all to I would have gotten it. out of shingles yeah. that would be huge like it was just such yeah. a such a gift to, to go through that so and isn't it Beautiful. interesting, the mind-body connection too, maybe the shingles really needed you to slow down so that you could find that one essence of what it is that you're now going to teach. It gave me so many stuff. things, like, yeah. I have to say. Yeah. That uh, also, like, um, when is it a hell yes to keep me on my path? And when is it a distraction, a no, keeping me, That's like, right. ma making me move away? And in shingles, you just don't have any excess like energy and time that you want to put to like no socializing yeah. anything like yeah. that i knew what my hell yes was and what my no was mm. it was very bright clear. clarity crystal clear oh, so it brought me so many pieces of my my big yeah. list of all yeah. the different yeah. things i i really wanted to experience so 
I'm 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 grateful for for that. So, yeah, yeah, it's, sure. not, yeah, that's awesome. and it's it's yeah. it's nice that you know we all go through physical pain and experiences yes. that we can look at as something, and we can de- we can make it control our life, and we can fall into that and that rabbit hole and never get out. Yes. Or we could take that yes. and we can say, wait a sec, what is this guiding me towards? And that's really what we talk yeah, about with this show. Is you that. really do, right? And yeah, so you this was perfect that you brought and shared that story. Thank you yes. so yes. much. Because it's beautiful. not easy to go through those yes. and come out the other side higher. Yes, I right? totally so agree with that. Yeah, yeah. And that's beautiful. So yeah. that is what your hope is and what you will be doing with your shit shifting yes. with people yeah. is helping them move beyond those moments. Even when you're in the throes of the worst possible, the dark night of your soul, Yes, mm-hmm. you can you can move out of that with grace and with beauty and upward and onward. Yes, right? an your upgrade. Soul. It can be an upgrade. Absolutely. It doesn't have to take you upgrade. down. Yeah, so yeah, I'm so super excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love that. That's something that I've always said too. That you know, just hang on when there's something really terrible you feel is terrible happening to you, and there's always that silver lining, which is totally cliche, mm-hmm. but it's the truth, and you're living it right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you're gonna share it. Yes, so, yes, yes. Like really, I'm so excited yeah. about uh, bringing some people together because yeah. I'm just finding a group. There's so much creative energy, and it's like, oh, never thought of that. Or somebody says it in a different way than I might in a session, right? Yeah, and absolutely. people hear it in a different It's like, the, the, the community helping each other is so Great. powerful. So, exactly. Yeah, okay. I'm super excited. So we are videotaping this um, in July, but you're going to be seeing this in August sometime. So what I'm going to say is we're going to put a link below for Betty Mae's course uh so if you're interested definitely check out the link below because even though you're doing one in july she's going to be doing them again yes. and we want you to definitely check it out i will be checking it out i'm sure she will oh too. yeah i think this is an amazing thing because i know yes. even with my own my iomi kits when i help you with those you're kind of on your own with them and there are times where you go yes. through chaos as you're shifting and changing and i'm not there to hold your hand but yeah. you make it Yes. So this yes. is a perfect fit with all of us here. It's a so really thank cool, you so much. For yeah, approach. So here. it's three. I should just say it's three Put parts. Here. So the first part is setting the stage, the foundation. It's kind of the science piece. It's like we're perfect. stepping into the, a new model. It's a model that people are aware of generally. Yeah. And so it's a new model, a new way to approach your life. And then the second part is practicum. Mm. So it's ah, really yeah. you're practicing. And the third part is called embodiment. Mm. Oh, okay. So I'm calling it. Who do you want to be in two years? But. It's all about the effort, right? Yeah, depends on yes. where you're at in your own process. And, and mm-hmm. I want to just stop you right there when you say effort, because it's a thing on my radar right now. Mm-hmm. I would say it's not about the effort, but it is about the awareness oh, yeah, or intention. Right? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And so it's just a thing I'm catching myself True. on every time I say effort or struggle. Oh, I'm that struggling with this thing. Oh, yeah. really? Are you struggling? Yeah. How else do you approach it? Right? Yeah. Like just yeah. little, good key. little things yeah. are coming, yeah. right? Yeah. Just like, and I will say that that's something that I've recognized right? like, too, is that I put a lot of freaking effort into yes. my business and everything, and then I realize, yes. I don't know. Yes. I do not want it to be an effort. I love what I do in a show. Right. Yeah. Well, me exactly. too. And you're right, and I have to catch myself me, on that. That's part but of it. Born and raised to work hard. Yes. Yeah. Me too. Well, we're farm girls. Yeah. Right? Bad yes. belief. Yeah. Really, it is. It's, it's not like, helpful. No. no. I mean, it's wrong because we, we, get, we get shit done. <laughs> we can get shit done. Yes. But we With should do it with more. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, so thank cool. you so much. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, and one thing before we go, which will go on our, because oh. you're there, oh. you know, <laughs> she gets to wear the crown of glory. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yes. Oh, so you uh, head shit shifter. <laughs> head shit shifter, right there, people. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Oh, you're so welcome. Funny. You're welcome. You don't have to keep wearing it. So anyway, let's wrap up there today. Yeah. So thank you again so much for being here. Thank you for everybody with your great comments and mm-hmm. you know for being a part of our show. And we we like that you stick around. Be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, whatever works for you, um, and keep following along. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah, and if there's anything that resonates with you, just drop a comment below or let us know what you want to hear or want to see. Uh, and just remember that the only thing that you can, can control in life is yourself. Exactly. And so for the rest of this week, until next week, remember, be authentic, be empowered, and own it completely. Bye. Love it. Don't forget to connect with us on your favorite social media sites so you can share your whole healthcare woes, wins, and other shit you'd like to discuss with us. 
We're recording now. Okay. Right now. <laughs> All right, right now. <sighs> okay. I don't have notes. Okay. So, so should I go first? Um, should I say welcome? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> this will all be a blooper, by the way. <laughs> 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 where are we? Exactly. Where have we been all, all of our lives? Oh my gosh. Okay, you start okay. and then I'm gonna try and remember what I'm supposed to say. Okay, we'll just and that's all. Yeah. <laughs> Should I do that again? Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's cyclical. You usually say something with yeah. cyclical issues, but you know what? Say whatever you want. Okay. I think it's fun. Yay! That was so good. Uh